I'm learning that Melee and Skeletron do not go well together whatsoever. Hello friends in Dino Nuggets and welcome back to my Terraria playthrough, episode number 14. Today will either be a quick episode or a long episode. <laughs> it's going to fully depend on how we do in the fight that I have planned, uh, which is Skeletron. I would like to fight Skeletron and get into the dungeon. I think that's the logical step after fighting Queen Bee. Speaking of Queen Bee, we got a little bee friend here. Um, I also took some time to fight Queen Bee a few times. I fought her five more times, not including what was on um, last episode. I died once, unfortunately. We died one time, but I just kept getting Bee's knees. I didn't get the sword, unfortunately, so I'm going to have to fight her even more. I did get the spiked honeycomb, which is cool. Um, but we have... We have some work to do in terms of getting the sword, um, which I believe is called the beekeeper. Uh, but we continued getting everything, including we got a bee mount. <laughs> so now we can fly around on a giant bee, as well as be followed by a little bee. So I feel like this is pretty cool. It definitely gives us a way to get up into um, the sky and maybe get to some flying islands that we may have missed i don't think we've missed any though i do think that we have found all of the flying islands um, but other than that i am really excited to fight skeletron i think we are as ready as we're going to be so i'm not too worried about how the fight's gonna go um it's you know it's gonna if we lose it's gonna end up being because of my inability to fight not because of our preparation or our item setup and that's kind of how i'm looking at it at the moment because um, i feel like we have definitely put in the work we've gotten to the point where we're at um, i think that we are definitely ready to fight skeletron while i was fighting queen bee i couldn't help but think about how much better i've gotten at this game versus even when i was towards the end of my normal playthrough i believe that i wasn't even nearly as good at terraria as i am now i feel as though i'm getting better i still got a long way to go obviously i'm not the greatest at fighting and i'm not the greatest at uh, keeping my attention on what i'm supposed to be doing <laughs> as we can see um but i do believe that i'm getting better and that progress has been something that's been a lot of fun for me to watch back. And hopefully it's been fun for you guys to watch in progress as well. So this worm is absolutely chasing us. We climbed up this way, I think. Was there... Was there a island up here? Why did we have such a... Nope, we just decided to do that for some reason. <laughs> we had just a pillar sitting there. Oh, you know what? I think that's where I was I was going to create a little arena type farm for when I was thinking about getting the ancient shadow armor, which I did not do. But we were prepared for it, so that counts for something, right? Um, so here we are at the dungeon. The dungeon has got some... Okay, we can actually destroy the dungeon brick. Uh, what I would like to do is flatten this out. I always build off of the dungeon. I like kind of building this as the flat top for the arena and then extending out. And so I think this is going to be a perfect time for a time lapse. And so I'm going to do that real quick and then I will be back with you guys once I'm finished. All right, 
right, guys. So I've created my arena. It's getting very close to nighttime. Um, I got a campfire, a heart lantern. Um, I got a banner for a demon eye just because I found one in the chest while I was looking for um, my heart crystal. I also put a little pool of honey down here that we can dip into um, during the fight. I was going to put it up here. Um, but down here felt like it was a little bit easier to just kind of jump down and then jump right back up into the arena. Versus here, I don't want to constantly get slowed down by it. I wanted to be able to um, get into it as I wanted, not that I was forced to um, interact with the honey. So so hopefully this works out. I see a giant floating island up here, but I didn't actually realize that it was that close to us. This would be a good fishing spot for some sky boxes because I would really like a cloud in a bottle. I did end up getting the frost spark boots. Uh, when I went underground to fight the queen bee, I found a anklet of the wind. I put that together with my aglet and my specter boots to get um, lightning sp lightning boots or lightning spark boots. I don't know. And then I combined that with um, ice skates to get frost spark boots. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, and here, it's getting nighttime. Go ahead and jump in the honey first. So can't let us enter until we free him of his curse. We still have a, we still have um, the slime spawning, meaning that it's still daytime, I believe. Um, let's turn this map off. I have a hard time fighting Skeletron, not being able to see him at all times. And also we're able to see the sun a lot easier come back at night if you wish to enter this time i did the smart thing i put torches here it's like the first time i've built an arena and remember to put torches um without it being in the middle of our first fight inside of the arena <laughs> i thought that was a monumental occurrence there and a very uniform looking very very uniform looking arena I'm pretty proud of it. <laughs> Can we interact now? Cannot let us enter until it's night. Let's go ahead and get this out. I brought some B nades as kind of a just in case. Oh, look at this. Major improvements to all stats. And this is medium improvements to all stats. So the burger would actually be better for us. So let's actually do that, that. I think those are our only stats. We'll use the Night Owl just so we can see a little better. And let us begin the fight against Skeletron. So don't know how this is gonna go as a melee specialist. I know it's not gonna be easy. <laughs> I'm prepared for that part of it. I don't know what I should be focusing on exactly. If I should be going for hands still, they seem like they're gonna be a bit harder to, a little bit harder for us to uh, take care of initially at least. And he does so much damage. So this isn't good. We are struggling quite a bit. We're going to try to keep distance. At least the Star Fury is allowing us to keep a bit of distance. Let's try some B nades. How do these do against him? Not good enough, that's for sure. Let's drop down here and get some regen. Let's not get stuck underneath. Some more B nades. We managed to hang on. Oh no. <laughs> Whoops. So we had managed to hang on for a second there um, until our potions ran out. But Skeletron is definitely going to be tougher than what um, the Queen Bee was. It's kind of, a, it's a huge leap, it feels like, in difficulty. 
so we're definitely going to have to figure out what we want to do to counteract the toughness of Skeletron. So I have a few ideas. One of them being we could begin fishing and getting some better damage output from um, potions. That's an option, um, not a ideal one because I do find fishing boring. <laughs> In the nicest way possible, I find fishing very boring and I would prefer to be able to figure out another way. And I'm going to have to brainstorm that for a bit. What can we do to better serve ourselves to fight against Skeletron. I am going to um, take a little bit of a break while I brainstorm that. So I will catch you guys in a little bit and then I'll be right back. So as you guys can see, um, I am doing what I didn't want to do, which is fishing. Um, having some decent luck, I would say. Um, we got an armored cave fish which was the main reason why I was down here um, looking for endurance potions. Um, and so I got one. I'm trying to get a second one. I'm trying to get one more. I think that would be a great, um, a great fail safe. I also got a rock fish, which is apparently a hammer of some sort <laughs> here. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, and then, yeah, I've got a few different fish here. It feels good to actually find a bunch of fish. Um, I do have a load of enemies spawning over on the right side. I'm sure you guys can see them. Um, but I just wanted to um, check in and show you guys what I was up to and what I'm doing in the meantime, trying to figure out what to do about Skeletron. And so if I find anything interesting, or if I'm finished with fishing, I will pop back in um, to check in with you guys. All right, guys, it's nearly nighttime again. Um, I've got a ton more items here. I've got a flask of poison, which I got from an imbuing station um, from a witch doctor. Um, I got endurance potions from those um, armor fishes regeneration potions. I've also got some ale. I don't know if this is going to be great because of the defense being lowered, but I'm going to give it a try. Um, I brought plenty of all of them, I think. Um, we're going to really hope for the best. I brought a yo-yo just in case we wanted to try to get some distance. Um, I'm trying the feral claws instead of the tsunami in a bottle. I don't think I need the double jump right now. Um, other than that, I think we're going to be good to give this a try again. We should be able to fight the curse. And we're starting off, I think we already started off a little bit better that time. We're going to try our best. So I understand that fighting the head is not the call. So you actually want to fight the hands the only question that I have about that is don't know oh first of all freaking buffs oh gosh we did not start off very good here we don't want to get hit too much by his skull not starting with the buffs was definitely a big a big misstep It's definitely, it's hard to hit his hands. It's hard to really hit anything. Oh. Ah, no. My buttons, my fingers are all mixed up trying to press the right buttons. All right, guys, we're going to try yet again. This time, remembering the buffs. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I did not mean to start it then. <laughs> we have not yet gotten a good start against him. So here's the hoping we can kind of get something going now. 
I feel as though um, we really need to avoid his skull. His skull does a lot of damage. We've also got to try to... Um, we really got to try to do a lot of damage on his hands. Which do take a good amount of damage. It's just a matter of aiming correctly. Because when he sends them at us, we don't really want to just sit. We don't want to just sit on the hands and let them hit us. We definitely need to try to find a way to do damage while avoiding damage. I think once we have the skull only... It's going to be a little bit easier. Once we have one hand, it'll probably be much easier as well. The slowness is definitely a hindrance on us, but... So this time I actually put the Band of Regeneration on, and I feel like it's doing a great job of keeping our health up. I feel as though this time around, a little bit better having the buffs... <laughs> Huge lifesaver. One hand is gone. Try to get rid of this other hand a little bit as quick as possible. I don't know what to expect when we have just the skull. I don't know if he's going to pick up speed. Okay, he is shooting little skulls at us now. And he shoots them really fast. So he does get quite a bit of damage in still. But he is now just the head. We're going to try to get to the honey. Oh no. Oh, that one was much better though. We have progress. We have a lot of progress. I'm thinking we can do it. The thing is we probably need to change to ranged when he goes skull mode. All right, one more time. Let's go. I feel like we could do this. I've got way too much in my inventory, um, but I made some additions to the arena. We've got uh, we've got plenty of sunflowers here to increase our movement speed. And I've also moved in the nurse up here. You can see her there. Helen's here. Um, let's try again. Try to get out of here quick enough. And we got our buffs on this time. So let's try our best to take on Skeletron again. I don't know how this one's going to go. I'm not really prepared for it. I just thought it was the perfect time to fight against Skeletron, so I decided to to go go for it. We want to try to do as much damage to these hands as we can. I can. So it's actually been a couple days since I, the last three attempts. Um, I don't exactly remember what our final like approach was. That got us really close. All I know is that we should have switched to the shock room a bit earlier. When the head was the only thing that we were fighting against. So currently, we got the hands down to about half. We would like to get away from his, his big time damage dealer in the spinning skull. We want no slowness, please. Would be great. We have the nurse if we need her, but obviously with in terms of damage done to us, we don't really want to have to rely on that. Here we are doing some decent damage to the hands. I would like to get a little bit more damage done if possible. I'm learning that melee and Skeletron do not go well together whatsoever. We really, it's because we can't really get to the hands easily. Because the stars are hard to control. His hands are very unpredictable. At least to me they are. 
Not quite good enough to get it, I guess. Hands are relatively low now. We do have a chance to heal. I don't think we probably didn't need to. So that might have been a waste. But hands are ones down. I think once the hands are down, now he's got these little guys that he's shooting out at us. I'm trying to get better at the dashes. Let's go ahead and get some honey. And now we are just fighting Skeletron himself. No arms, no funny business. These skull skulls are very hard to um, dodge. Let's actually switch to the Thorn Chakra. I think we can get way more damage that way. Let's go get some regen. We may need to talk to the nurse for a second here. So this is going, I think, a little bit better. We'll see. <laughs> so it seems like the nice thing is that possibly these little skeletons don't really go through buildings, meaning we can use the dungeon as a little bit of defense. And so it's just about dodging these little guys, as well as the big skeleton, obviously, or skull, I should say. I don't know if he gets faster than this, but at the moment, I think we're doing good damage. Our movement speed from the sunflowers, I think, has helped us a lot. Kind of the unsung hero right now. I don't know if he stops doing the skeleton shots, but that would be amazing <laughs> if you could stop doing that. That so far is doing the worst of the damage to us. He keeps hitting the nurse. <laughs> Poor nurse did not sign up for this, but she's part of the crew, so she has to pull her weight. We are doing a lot better damage this time around. We are also pretty safe on health. I'm not sure if I should be expecting another phase of some sort. So we can't do any damage with the Cthulhu shield bash. But I thought that was worth trying. Here we go. We are finally getting some headway. Very low. Sometimes getting stuck there is a very bad sign for us. Just try to wait for him to get back into this form. Oh, I think we got this one, guys. I think we got this one. We didn't even need to move the nurse. I'll wait until I get too confident. <laughs> but I think I've got the pattern down a bit. And we got him. Skeletron has been defeated. So I have a full, and I mean a full little inventory right now. So let me get rid of a few things. We don't need the stone wall and we don't need the explosives. Let's grab Skeletron's bag. I definitely should have brought a chest over here. In fact, actually, what we can do is I kind of know my world at this point. I know it well enough that we can come right over here to the living wood chests and there is a chest here. <laughs> So thankfully, I've been paying a little bit of attention to that. Uh, we're actually going to get rid of these mushrooms. And then let's go back. So I actually have a little bit of a hut here. Because I was prepared to have to fight Skeletron a few hundred times. 
let's put all this stuff away. So I actually did some underground mining and stuff. That's why you see a bunch of stuff. I, not mining, but exploring. So I found a bunch of stuff down there. A lot of which did not actually come in handy for that fight. So we got a possess skull, which gives us a little Skeletron to follow us. I think we want our cute little bee. And then we have a treasure bag that has Skeletron's hands and an angry bone glove, which shoots crossbones at enemies while you are attacking. So this could be good for us. Um, I don't know exactly what we have that we could get rid of for that. But Skeletron hand, definitely something that we're going to use. We can now grab on with Skeletron's hands. We have two hands there. And then we can also look at what the hand does. The angry bone glove. Let's go ahead and get rid of our, um, our spike man of regeneration for a second. And so it's a little bit dark over here, so I couldn't see it. But, oh, you can see it throws those little crossbones down. Which is definitely a great little asset for us. It puts a little bit of distance for us. It seems to do quite a bit of damage too, which is always welcome. Alright, well, that is Skeletron defeated. And so that tells me that in the next episode, we are going to go into the dungeon. So thankfully we have this little little hut right here uh, we don't have to go too far to get into the dungeon but for now i've been your host bobasaurus thank you guys for watching finally got him skeletron has been defeated and we can finally jump into the dungeon so i've been your host bobasaurus if you like this video give it a like subscribe if you'd like to see some more terrarium content and remember to always be on your bobasaurus best